Okay, I have, uh, I'm not as prepared as most of uh, our uh, teachers are, so uh, I made notes and hope that I can uh, see if they, what they know. Okay? First I need to get my glasses. <laughs> Okay, as you heard this morning, as we lit the uh, second candle, the candle of Enos peace, right? Okay, it's the second candle of Advent, it's the candle of peace. Who knows what Advent means? Anybody? Okay, Advent means the time of the four Sundays we celebrate before the birth of Jesus, Jesus the Christ child. Okay, uh, do you know a way to keep track of the four Sundays of Advent? How do we do it? Okay, uh, does anybody know of another way? Who has Advent calendars at their house? Okay, every day you have a little something, either a picture or a verse or something that you look up on the Advent calendar to keep track of the four Sundays and the 24 days before we celebrate Jesus' birth, right? Okay. Uh, we also heard in the lighting of the second candle words about John the Baptist, about peace, right? Okay. John the Baptist remembered about Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet. And what Isaiah said about peace that came from God. Uh, so here is where I will read a short passage out of the out of the Bible. If I can find it, yes, I have it. <laughs> it tells about what Isaiah said that God had. Hold peace. This is like the days of Noah to me, just as I swore that the waters of Noah would never again go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Now these are words from God to Isaiah. Okay? Okay, uh, this is my message to you. I uh, will have a short prayer and you can go back to your seats. Okay? Dear God, as we go now, oh, looking ahead to the time of the birth of your son Jesus, let us pray for peace, not only in our hearts, but around the world. Amen. Amen. Okay.